Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guest, pianist composer Irving Fields. And now, on with the show. <laughs> Ever in a jam, here I am. If you're ever in a mess, SOS. If you ever feel so happy you land in jail, I'm your bail. It's friendship, friendship, just a perfect blend ship. When other friendships have been forgot, ours will still be hot. A lot, a lot, a lot, will dig, dig, dig. If you're ever up a tree, phone to me. And if you're ever down a well, ring my bell. If you ever lose your teeth and you're out to dine, borrow mine. It's friendship, friendship, just a perfect blend ship. When other friendships have been forgate, ours will still be great. A lot, a lot, a lot, I'll chuck, chuck, chuck. If they ever black your eyes, put me wise. If they ever cook your goose, turn me loose. If they ever put a bullet right through your brain, I'll complain. It's friendship, friendship, just a perfect blend ship. When other friendships have been forget, ours will still be eat. A lot, a lot, a lot, a hep, hep, hep. Hep, 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 hep. <laughs> Friendship, written by Cole Porter and introduced by Ethel Merman and Bert Lahr in the Broadway show, Du Barry Was a Lady. And now it's time to meet the two mighty musicians at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> And at the piano, Mike Yanuzzi. We're opening our show tonight with songs written by the great composer and lyricist Cole Porter, who gave us so many wonderful tunes for Broadway and Hollywood. Here's one of his Hollywood tunes from the MGM film Born to Dance, starring Eleanor Powell and James Stewart. So easy to idolize all others apart. So worth the yearning for. So swell to keep every home fire burning for. We'd be so grand at the game. So carefree together that it does seem a shame that you can see your future with me, and you'd be oh so easy to love. Mike Yanuzzi, thank you both for helping me celebrate the music and lyrics of the great Cole Porter. 
And Mike, just last week I had the pleasure of doing a show with you in South Orange, New Jersey for a lovely yes. bunch of senior citizens. It How was. did you enjoy that? It was great. We had a great time. Uh, the people were very receptive. It's their music, you know, and, and uh, it's just such a blessing for us to be able to do that for them. Well, thank that you for being such a great accompanist that night. And we did mostly Cole Porter songs. Yes, we you did. Know? And now, Sandy Randa, I want to congratulate you on an article that appeared in the May issue of Around About Peterstown in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Yes, uh, this is um, a nice coincidence. Accidentally, um, well, a, a music colleague of mine uh, brought in the paper from, from that area. And he said, say, you got to look at this. This is all, all about... Elizabeth, where you were, uh, where you grew up, I was there for about four years before we moved. Oh, I said these articles are great. I said I recognize a couple of the places, and I especially recognized the name of Joe Long, who was a left-handed bass player on the road with the Seasons. So I said this is great. And he, they, they named the street after the him. Four the four Seasons, of course. Four, I'm sorry, the Four seasons. seasons, and he played left-handed bass on the road with them. So I said, you know, this is something really good. He was from Elizabeth, so I said I'm going to call. The editor, whose name, incidentally, is uh, Joe Renna. Renna. He's close to my name, yeah. And my brother's name was Joe, but Renna's uh, very close. I called. He was very receptive on the phone. He said, uh, Sam, send me everything you have. Uh, and when I sent it to him, he said, boy, this is really good. You sent me a lot. I can't use it in one of the issues small. I want to wait till I can you know, give you a bigger spread um, uh, with all the information. I said, Joe, that's fine. And he really did a great job. I'm very happy to wait. As many people have seen it and said they really liked it, and I'm very proud of it. An article all about your career and growing yeah. up. Yes, yes. And my grandparents, we played at their 50th wedding anniversary. It's right. one of the first jobs the band did. Uh, aunts and uncles were there. That's my mom and dad. A picture of my mother and father on the corner of 3rd Avenue and Chris Stein Street. So it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. My, my children and... My wife were in the paper also. That's so very nice. good. Well, I read the article. It was wonderful. Congratulations Thank you. again. Thanks very much. And what's your big number for tonight? This is, um, uh, uh, these are beautiful songs that were done m many years ago as ballads, love tunes, and so on. And this is called There Will Never Be Another You Jazz Style. That's right. It's a great standard written by yes. Matt Gordon and Harry Warren. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do the jazz, jazz version. Jazz, yes. Let's hear it for Sandy and Mike. <laughs> Right now, here is part two of my recent interview with pianist, composer, and recording artist Irving Fields, taped at Nino's Restaurant in New York City. One of Irving Berlin's great songs. He's written so many great songs. You'll recognize this one.
Thank you. Thank you. Irving feels that was a beautiful rendition of Irving Berlin's Cheek to Cheek. I really love that. I loved it too because Irving Berlin wrote it. That's right. <laughs> did you know Irving Berlin? I had the pleasure of meeting him. You did meet Irving yeah. Berlin. Tell us about well, that. Well, I, I recorded a song called White Christmas, which he wrote. Yes. And I went to see him in his office, and nobody sees Irving Berlin just like that. That's right. So I got a a friend of mine that happens to be his arranger and uh, he said you want to meet Irving Berlin I says yes well I I recorded a, I want him to hear my uh, recording of it five minutes later Irving Berlin comes out to, and he hears my uh, 45 rpm which I did at that time and he says, I love it. Is that your arrangement? I says, yeah, that's my arrangement. And he says, I like it very, very much. That's great. An arrangement by yes. Irving Fields for Irving Berlin's White Christmas. Right. Irving Fields, you've written many, many songs and big hits like Managua, Nicaragua, so many. Tell us about some of your song hits. Well, I've been very lucky to uh, have written Managua, Nicaragua, which was in the third man the movie and uh that was number one on the hit parade for 14 weeks you wrote it in the 1940s i believe oh yeah that was those my my highlight year between 1940 and 50 60 70 and so forth and it was recorded by many bands and singers oh they all did it who were some of the people who recorded oh, Guy Lombardo, uh, sammy k sammy k Oh, uh, the, uh, oh, the, the, So many. I, I forget some of them, but they all did it. Freddie Martin. Freddie Martin's orchestra, yeah. right. Those uh, were great bands. Yeah. Kay Kaiser. Kay Kaiser. They did it. Uh, oh. I've uh, heard those records. A lot, of, and then uh, there was done in different countries. That's right. I think we were supposed to have about 40, 50 recordings on that from different, from different musical sources. That's great. How many songs would you say you've written? Oh, then uh, I wrote a thing called Shante Shante, which was Jimmy Stewart was in there, Sandra D. Uh, saw a movie called Take Her, She's Mine. I've seen that. Then Woody Allen called me, and uh, he wanted uh, uh, some songs that I had. He was crazy about my Amber Beach Rumba, and he has it in uh, uh, many movies. Take Her, She's Mine, and a picture called Scoop. And uh, uh, he's been very kind to uh, my music, uh, anything I have, I always send to him. Did you ever appear in Woody Allen's films playing the piano? Are you in any of his I films? I would love to do that. We gotta get you in a film. Yeah, call right. Woody. Absolutely, <laughs> but your songs are in his films, so that's very, very important. Yeah. And the, the, also, I wrote for, for Louis uh, Armstrong. Louis Armstrong, what did you write for Louis? Uh, a thing called Cheesecake. I gotta tell you a story. Sure. I wrote Cheesecake. Why did I pick Cheesecake? I had strawberry cheesecake at Lindy's. Uh -huh. Well, uh, it was so delicious, and I was going bicycle riding on the West Side Highway, and there's little bumps, you know, little brick bumps, Oh, and so it got boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. And the, those bumps gave me an idea for the music. Boom, 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 boom. And I was thinking the wonderful taste I had from the strawberry cheesecake. So certainly, boom, 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 cheesecake, 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 cheesecake. And uh, it gave me the rhythm. And you wrote a song from that. I wrote a cheesecake, bunch it on a cheesecake, bunch it on a cheesecake, 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 bunch it. So I recorded a demo recording. And uh, I was all ready to finish. And there was a drummer, a black guy that played very, very well. And he says, uh, Mr. Field, before we pack up, I sang it, you know, in my way. Right. But he, he says, you know, I could do an impression of Louis Armstrong. What? Yeah. And he, he did it. I said, 
fellas, stay here. We don't pack up yet. And he sang it. And he said, cheesecake, bunch it on a cheesecake, bunch it on a cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Just and like Louis. Just like Louis, right? right? So I went to Joe Glazer the next day with the demo of what the guy sang. And Joe Glazer says to me, you son of a gun. Are you trying to sing? Uh, are you trying to steal Louis from me? I'm his manager. I tell him what to do, what to do, what to record. He was very angry. I said, Joe, take it easy. This is a demonstration record of a guy that sounds like him. Right. Let me hear it again. He hears a cheesecake, motion on a cheesecake, motion on a cheesecake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know what? It was recorded the following week. By Louis Armstrong. That's a great story. That's a true story. That is a great story. And talking about recordings, you've recorded so many record albums and CDs. Bagels oh, to Bongos, that was your big I one. I must have made about 90 CDs. 90 CDs. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're now CDs, you know. Right. Original but, uh, uh, LP records. I started that are now with CDs. a 78 RPM. Right. Name some of your famous recordings and albums. Oh, Miami Beach Trumba. Uh, uh, I did. I took classical music. I put it in Latin tempo. Nobody did that. Uh, I, I took Jewish music. I put it in Latin tempo. Nobody did that. Uh, I did uh, uh, Hawaiian music. Put it in Latin tempo. Nobody did that. I put classical music in Latin tempo. I took all kinds of music. And I love Latin music. I was, went to Havana when I was a kid. I fell in love with Latin music. I play a lot of Latin music. A lot of people think I'm part Latin. But you helped introduce Latin music to many, many record buyers. Uh, well, Xavier Cougat came in. Oh, of course, yes. Where I played back in 1946. Uh, I was working at the Crest Room, a very swank place on the east side of New York. And he looks at me, starts speaking Spanish. He thought you were Spanish. I said, Mr. Cougat, I'm honored that you're here, but I am an American. I don't understand Spanish. Oh, you, I thought you were Spanish or Cuban or Puerto Rico. He wanted to hire me. To be in his With band. his orchestra, a special pianist, a second pianist, do all the fancy That's stuff. That's a great story. I said, I'd love to, Mr. Kugat, but I just signed a contract with RCA Victor Records. And my first record is a big hit called My Ever Be Trumba. But thank you, I'll stick with my trio. Well, Irving, you've had such a wonderful career and you're still going strong from concerts to recordings and also television. Tell me about the TV shows you appeared on back in the 1950s. Oh, my goodness. Milton Berle. Milton Berle, Ed Sullivan. Kate Smith. Eddie Cantor, Jackie Gleason, Kate Smith. Oh. So you were on the Colgate Comedy Hour with Eddie Cantor, right? Yeah. The Colgate Comedy Hour? Yeah. These were all live shows done in New York City. Live shows. I was at the Park Sheridan Hotel in New York. We were jam-packed. And from the Park Sheridan, I went to all the Vegas hotels. That's right. You played the in Sahara, Las Vegas. The Sahara, the Sands, uh, the Thunderbird, the uh, Flamingo. I played all the hotels. I played everywhere in the world. That was the golden age, yeah. right? Yeah. Then I... I played the London, uh, London, uh, London Palladium. Palladium in England. I did Carnegie Hall concerts, six or seven of them. Uh, then I played the uh, em, uh, Empire. Not the, uh, what's what's the name? Uh, well, you also played oh, the in, in Japan. You played in Japan. Yeah. Uh, that uh, I forget the name. I of wouldn't it. know the name of a place in Japan, but I do know in New York City you played at the Latin Quarter. Oh, I played Latin Quarter. I played the Copacabana. And the Plaza. I played the Hilton. Right. I played the New York Sheridan. And I the Plaza. The, I played the Plaza for eight years. That's great. Yeah. 
That's really wonderful. Well, Irving, I want to congratulate you on your upcoming 100th birthday on August the 4th. You will be 100 years old. You're still going strong with the piano. Can I correct you? 100 years young. 100 years <laughs> young. You are correct. 100 years young and still going strong. I That's hope wonderful. so, yeah. That's wonderful. And you're married to a very lovely lady, Ruth. Yeah, Ruth, yeah. I love her very much. Our uh, anniversary, our anniversary is uh, this coming Saturday, June 6th. Well, I've met Ruth. She's a wonderful person. So yeah. congratulations to you and Ruth on your Thank wedding anniversary. You. Thank you very much. And we're much. still going to hear you play another Irving Berlin song, How Deep Is the Ocean. So thank you so much for being the guest on my show. My Irving Fields, thank pleasure. you so much. Thank you. And from one Irving to another Irving, here is How Deep is the Ocean. It's a beautiful song. Let's hear it for Irving Fields. <laughs> one of Al Jolson's favorite songs. He introduced it in the Warner Brothers film, The Singing Fool, and it was written by Jolson, Dave Dreyer, and Billy Rose. <laughs> There's a rainbow round my shoulder, and it fits me like a glove. Let it blow and storm, I'll be warm, cause I'm in love. Hallelujah, how the folks will stare when they see the diamond solitaire. That my little sugar baby is going away. Yes, sir, there's a rainbow round my shoulder, and a sky of blue above. And I'm shouting so the world will know that I'm in love. There's a rainbow round my shoulder and a sky of blue above. Oh, the sun shines bright, the world's all right, cause I'm in love. There's a rainbow round my shoulder and it fits me like a glove. Let it blow and storm, I'll be warm, cause I'm in love. Hallelujah, how the folks will stare. When they see the diamond solitaire That my little sugar baby Is going to wear Yes sir There's a rainbow round my shoulder And a sky of blue above And I'm shouting so The world will know that I'm in love Well folks, that's our show for tonight Let's hear it for Sandy Randa Mike Yanuzzi, and my very special guest, Irving Fields. And we close off tonight's show with another Al Jolson hit, Toot Toot Tootsie Goodbye. Toot Toot Tootsie Goodbye. 
toot, toot, tootsie, don't cry. The choo-choo train that takes me away from you. No words can tell how sad it makes me. Kiss me, tootsie, and then do it over again. Just watch for the mail. I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, then you'll know I'm in jail. Tut tut tutsy, don't cry. Tut tut tutsy, goodbye. Kiss me, Tootsie, and then do it over again. Just watch for the mail. I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, then you'll know I'm in jail. Toot, toot, Tootsie, don't cry. Toot, toot, Tootsie, goodbye. Good night.